I believe that learning is more than just memorizing formulas and points on a piece of paper. That's why when I make my notes, I make sure that I prioritize the student's understanding on the topic, rather than just make a focus on what questions will be appeared on their next test. Before we start making our notes, me and the other teachers will conduct a meeting to discuss what we think the best suited to be included in our notes. Things like what part of the syllabus that are essential and also what format we should use to help our students to understand the subject better. This is also so that we can ensure that our notes can act in combination with our lessons to enhance their learning capabilities. I have different kinds of students ranging from many ages and they all come from the different backgrounds. Therefore, their learning styles vary from student to student. So, I think the best way to make sure that the lesson reaches the students in an effective way is to illustrate the concepts they learn in a visual form. I mainly teach maths and physics, and I actually found out that some of the students they may be confused on the equations or the formulas given. So, this is where my custom illustrations come into play, where I will illustrate the equations or the formula into a diagram so they can understand that easily. I get very particular when it comes to my notes. The illustrations must be informative, sure, but I also see to it that the pictures and the diagrams actually look nice. And I actually realize that my students prefer looking at the cool and sometimes funny pictures in their notes and that it increases their attention span during the lessons. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to make notes. There's just not enough hours in the day to let me juggle between teaching classes and making notes. Oftentimes, my nights are sacrificed in order to meet the deadlines while producing quality content. It's a long and meticulous process, but to be honest, it's well worth it if it means I can get the message across to my students. Sometimes, I have people asking me why don't I just take the notes from the textbooks or other reference books. But that's like asking an artist why doesn't he just paint other people's paintings. There's a certain feeling of satisfaction when you created something original. It's like creating a reflection of who you are. You impose your personality onto the things that you create. And I think the same applies to my notes and my lessons. Hmm, I guess I just want my students to see how much they mean to me.